Hi, I told you I'd make a couple videos on the medicinal properties of some essential oils, and I never got into individual oils like I said I would um, on the introduction to essential oils that I made a couple weeks ago. So this today I'm going to do it on lavender. Okay, I use Young Living um, because that's what I have experience with. Can't vouch for the effectiveness or the purity of other companies or essential oils. I wouldn't trust ones that you buy at the grocery store or even at some of um, your candle shops and such to uh, put in diffusers that you would breathe in. Um, some of them have uh, additives in them that, you know, uh, can't think of the word, but uh, you wouldn't want some of those chemicals to go into your lungs or have you repeatedly breathing them in on your chest up into your sinuses. But I do have many years experience, I would say at least nine years experience using uh, Young Living's essential oils. They're pure therapeutic grade. The only thing that are in their oils are whatever it states on the bottle, lavender. So lavender um, stems and leaves are distilled and they take um, the oil that floats to, to the top of the distillation process and they bottle it and they always run it through labs to verify the chemical constituents that should be in it for that type of plant and how um, how pure it is. And if they have a bad batch, they throw it out. They don't sell it. Okay, so with that said, just a, um, I don't know what you call it, a waiver here. I'm not a medical professional and I am in no way trying to convince you to only use essential oils for healing and I'm not guaranteeing that they will uh, take care of any medical issues that you have. I'm just sharing information and experience from my own um, life and how and testimonies of how I've seen particular oils work. So with that said, if you Google medicinal properties of lavender here on um, a government site, it's uh, ncbi.nlm.nih.gov article, Lavender and the Nervous System. Lavender has a long history of medicinal use and is suggested to possess anticonvulsant, antidepressive, anxiolytic, sedative, and calming properties. Lavender also prescribed by some medieval physicians for treatment of epilepsy and migraine attacks. Here's uh, medical news today, lavender health benefits and uses. It's believed to have antiseptic and anti-inflammatory properties, which can help to heal minor burns and bug bites. And I'm gonna talk about those as part of what, I've, what I use it for in my household. And I have an example of that from just, in fact, yesterday, I burned um, this finger, my thumb, my right thumb, although you may not see anything on it. Does it look like the other thumb? Okay. And this, the index finger, the pointer, pointer finger, looks the same as the other one. I burnt, I burnt these two yesterday because I was, I was frying some um, taco shells and I had a metal spoon in a pan, a metal pan of refried beans and it had sat there for a while while I was doing the taco shells and when I went to grab the spoon to stir the beans it was hot <laughs> it was burning hot and I went to grab the spoon with my forefinger and my thumb and after I had grabbed it you know I gripped it it was hot I held it for like a second and then I put it back down in the beans and my fingers were burning. They were burning, burning, burning. But as you can see, um, they don't look like there's any blistering. They're the same color. They're the same color as my other fingers, but they were burning 
and they were red. My thumb was especially red. And it was, I mean, it feels like when you burned your fingers, but I hurried up and grabbed my lavender bottle and heavily saturated the finger, the fingertips with the oil and let it sit there um, for at least two minutes. And then I used a napkin to hold the tongs for the tacos and everything else so I didn't get the lavender smell on the food. Um, and then I rinsed it with some cool water and then I, I slathered it again with the lavender and no pain, no pain, no redness, no blisters. Praise the Lord. It was, it was like that before I went to bed, it was gone. Another testimony, I gave my sister, one of my sisters, lavender and peppermint, um, just, you know, to, I gave them, they bought a 40, actually they bought lavender and peppermint for $40 for the both bottles. It was like a little starter kit, you know, and peppermint's really good for stomach aches or headaches. Lavender, I told them, use it for burns, right? So when my sister was cooking Thanksgiving dinner a few few years back, probably like five or six years ago, she she burned the you know the edge of her forearm, the inside edge of her forearm on an oven rack when she was getting something out of the oven, and it was burning. You know, it's just that constant burning pain until you do something for it. <laughs> And um, she's like, what do I have that I could put on this that will help it, right? And then she remembered what I told her about the lavender oil. So she did the same thing I did with my thumb and my, four, my index finger yesterday. And she just poured a bunch of it on and rubbed it in. And she just left it. And she said that, you know, after a few minutes, it wasn't burning anymore. So she didn't pay attention to it. And then a couple hours later, before she went to bed, she looked at it because she's like, it doesn't even hurt anymore. So she looked and she couldn't find the red mark where she had burned herself. True story. She said it was weird. Like she's never had that happen before. So <clears throat> it definitely helps for burns. It's great, especially if you have kids or grandkids to keep it around so that, or if you're camping, so that if anybody gets burned, you just use it. Also for bug bites. Um, I gave a bottle of this to the teacher at the school I work with, and um, she uses the same ones. She didn't have any lavender, so I gave her lavender because it's really good for cuts and scrapes as well, or bruises, okay? So things that kids would, would happen to kids. Well, the last day of school this past year, we had a water, you know, they had a water day, and um, two people got stung by a bee one got one person got stung once another kid got stung twice the same day by bees on the grass because bees were um, on the clover in the grass so i said well you have the lavender oil she goes oh yeah that's right so i told so we got the lavender oil and when they put it on their you know they got the sting we got they got the stinger out right away but then they were saying it was like stinging it was just burning so we put that on there and like after five minutes no more stinging. So it's really good for that. And it's good for the itching if you have like mosquito bites. Um, for dogs, if you need something for calming, for car rides, fireworks, um, just anxiety in general, going to the vet, whatever, you just, you just open it because usually that one has a roll top, but usually they have like a little orifice, a little hole that you can drip drips out of onto your skin or whatever, but you can just put your finger on it and tip it over and get some on your finger and then rub that lavender oil on the inside of their ear flap. Okay. You just rub it on the inside of their ear flap, rub it in and it'll absorb into their body. And like I said, they won't, you can't take too much like, whether it's a drop or five drops for a dog's ear, it doesn't matter. It's only gonna, they're only gonna use what their body or what our bodies need. And then it'll, they'll el eliminate the rest, just like vitamin C in your urine, if you take too much. 
it's just gonna it's just gonna exit your body you won't build up a toxicity of it okay um here is healthline.com what lavender can do for you origin uses and more it's also great for melatonin why are you gonna you know you buy melatonin at the at the health food store but melatonin is that it says all natural check it out because if you buy the all natural melatonin from a health food store or even at like a pharmacy it's gonna it is all natural because it's bovine it's from a cow's brain okay who wants to take a chance that you're using part of the cow brain of a cow that has mad cow right so um you're using melatonin that's been extracted and dried and put in the capsules um you know chemically it's bovine or cow melatonin okay and so you're just giving your body some unnatural product because it's not it's not human melatonin first of all so they say it's natural because yeah it's from a living organism but if you use lavender it helps right here this is from rxlist.com lavender health benefits side effects and uses lavender is used for restlessness insomnia nervousness and depression it's also used for a variety of digestive complaints including abdominal and it goes on but it helps your body produce its own melatonin naturally okay so if i type that in to produce your own melatonin okay pubmed aromatherapy with lavender essential oil similarly favors an increase in blood melatonin levels in both older men and women there you go it's a government document pubmed the effect of aromatherapy with lavender so best thing to use it for if you're using it for melatonin or to sleep to help you sleep or relax and fall asleep is to use it either put some drops in your hand and rub it on the bottom of your feet or rub some on the on your chest so that you're inhaling it as you're falling asleep just like in the medieval days they would use lavender sachets with dry lavender flower you know dry lavender uh leaves and flowers in sachets and they would put those in pillows to help people sleep same concept except you know so it's not just relaxing um because of the the, the aroma but it's because it's helping you produce your own melatonin increase in me blood melatonin levels in both older men and women okay and then um I mean, just look it up. There's tons and tons of government and me medical published um, articles on the uses of lavender oil. So we've talked about burns. We've talked about using it for relaxation or anxiety for people or for pets. Talked about using it for sleep and relaxation. Another thing, um, that I don't think I've mentioned is bruises. One time, um, I, you know, this was just this last, it was just last fall. Um, my husband and I were up in Oregon and I was backing up slowly and I tripped over, I don't know, like a one and a half foot uh, tree stump that was about 20, 24 inches wide diameter. And it was one and a half feet off the you know up, up from the ground up so I tripped over it and my right hip landed right onto the ground behind me my whole body went over the stump and I landed on my right hip and I told them good thing I have a lot of cushion because I didn't break my hip uh, I had a lot of padding that was protecting my in my bones and um but let me tell you on my hip and my bottom 
I had a huge, I don't know, it was probably like a good, at least 10 inches, nine or 10 inches oval shaped, nine, 10 inches this way and about like seven inches wide bruise that turned black and purple um, from where I impacted the ground. Um, it was really hard to sleep in the trailer those two nights afterwards because it was sore. <laughs> but I used some essential oils and I rolled it. This one has a roller. So I just rolled it all over the bruise and it really helps, um, it really helps clotting and bruises. So again, for young kids, right? It also helps cut scrapes and, and um, just like burns because it helps stop bleeding. So it helps the bruises, the cuts and the scrapes. It also disinfects because remember we, we read that it was an antiseptic. So if you roll some of this, you wouldn't want to roll it because you don't want to share a roller with other people. This is just my personal bottle. But at school, you would just use the orifice and you would drip it onto the kid's fingers so that they could rub it onto their scrape or their cut and then put a Band-Aid on it. But it helps to clean it, kill any germs that shouldn't be there. And it also helps the bruising and the coagulation and it helps to stop the bleeding. Uh, one major big story before I'm done with lavender, because I could go on and on and on forever. It's also good for allergies. If you take a little bit and you rub it underneath your eyes, not too close, but you'll be able to smell it. And it helps um, if you have itchy eyes or if you have uh, bad hay fever and allergies. It helps to clear up your sinuses and helps you not to be congested and have to rely on nasal sprays or um, allergy pills. Okay, so cuts and scrapes and bleeding. So true story, I went to a Young Living convention probably like six years ago. It was the only one I ever went to and um, we were getting ready to go somewhere and we were getting in line Oh, to go look at the distillery. So we were getting we were getting in line to get on the bus to go over to the distillery to see some of the work in action. And um, they gave us all like a wristband. One of the ones that you get like at a carnival, it's paper and it has a little, you know, you take off the little um, plastic strips on the end and then the, the ends stick together, it's glue. So I was trying to do it with one hand because I had to put it on myself and I was holding stuff in my arm and I went to, um, I was holding one side with my mouth and I was trying to stick the other part on and one end of the bracelet after I took the, the peeled the plastic off, the glue end of that, of the paper bracelet stuck to my lip and I thought, okay, well, you know, you, it's just like tape, right? <laughs> so I, I went to peel it off and the right side of my lip, my bottom lip, I, I peeled it off and it, it, it felt like, you know, it ripped, <laughs> but I just peeled it off and then my lip was bleeding. It actually took like the top surface of the skin, just the very, your, I guess your lips are very thin. The skin is thin. <laughs> I learned this. And my lip was bleeding. And it's not going to repair like instantaneously, right? So I was like, does anybody have any, does anybody have any, um, I was looking for Panaway because it has uh, an oil in it that is good for stopping bleeding. And it's a blend. And nobody had any pan away, but when we got, so I was using a napkin and I was holding it on my lip and, you know, putting pressure to keep it from dripping all down my neck and face. And I would lick it sometimes and I'd put the napkin on it and I was holding it and the napkin was getting spotted. I got onto the bus and then somebody goes, I don't have any pan away, but I have some lavender. So I was like, okay, whatever. So use what you got. So I, I took it and I just poured a, more than a few drops onto my fingers and I just slathered it all over with my fingers onto my lips 
onto the lower lip. And I did it a second time and I went like this and I, you know, I waited like probably 30 seconds and then I went to dab the napkin and nothing came off. It stopped bleeding. So within 30 seconds, it stopped bleeding, never bled again, went back to the hotel. I bought some lavender <laughs> so that I had it. And I also bought one of their uh, lip balms that has lavender in it. And I used that a couple times during the day because we were out there for a while. And um, so I put that on a couple times and then went back to the hotel. And before I went to bed, put some more lavender oil on it. And then in the morning, because there was like a good like little section of my lip skin that was just gone. And I'm like, oh, man, this is going to take like days. You know, it's going to scab up and take days to get, you know, normal. Well, the next morning, it was normal. My lips looked like nothing ever happened. True story. So, um, go ahead and look look up, a, you know, Google it, read about it. If you need it for any of those type of um, things, lavender is the thing to get. So, if you want to know how to get to, you can always buy... Um, you can go to youngliving.com, youngliving.com slash US slash EN, and um, you would uh, see place a subscription order or one time order of 100 PV to earn 24% discount. So if you do, a, if you, I guess if you place a one time order um, of 100, 100 point value, so sometimes things aren't a dollar for point value depends on what you're buying. It'll tell you when you look them up. So if I go to shop and you go to single oils, you know, let's say you wanted lavender, you go down, I have to go to the next page, you go to lavender, got to find it. There it is. So lavender, I got to move my window over because I'm in the way. So lavender essential oil for 15 milliliters is 33.22. This is the retail price, okay? Um, I get a bottle, if I log into my account, I get a bottle for I think like $28. So, something like that. Take 24% off, $33. 33.22 times 0.24, subtract that, and that's what I, that's what I pay as a wholesale member. So I guess if you place a one-time order of 100 PV, um, so if we click on that, it'll tell you uh, P point value is 25.25. So point price is 25.25. I guess that's probably the, the price I pay, 25.25, whereas retail is going to pay 33.22. Okay, but if you do a one a hundred dollar order, um, point value wise, you'll get twenty four percent off, or you can sign up as a new member. You don't have to sell anything. What you would do is you would go to their homepage, oops, and you would click on um, click down at the bottom. Uh, it used to be at the top. Shop, learn, company. Can't find it now. It used to be up at the top. It said become a member. It was easier. They changed their website. I go to sign in. Um, subscribe to save. Go to learn. Subscribe to save. And it, it talks about the 24% um, on all products. You can also do the essential reward program, which is what I do. And then they talk about the point value system. And um, you can edit your monthly orders, which I do. Okay, talks about the savings, your options. And then um, should give you should give you an option to Go ahead and sign up. 
I don't know where that is now. Shop now. Uh, sorry. They changed their website. Anyway, you'll find it if you follow through and you read their introduction here on Learn. Subscribe to save. I don't know where it is. Anyway, if you want to sign up, you usually have to enter in somebody's enrollment number. Um, you can sign up. It helps me, and I will send you a free $20 book. Uh, a, a, um, a free 20 I think it's $24 now, but an essential oil user guide. And it, it gives you the science behind each oil and also what each oil is good to use for. Or you can look up an illness and find out which oils to use. So I, I give, if you become a member under my name, under my account, because you have to usually sign up as an active member under somebody else's, then I will send you um, a free book. And it used to be become a member. I don't even see that anymore. Hmm. Anyway, my next video, I'll show you how to do that. <laughs> anyway, my number is 1213188. So my sponsor and enroller number is 1213188. And um, then you'd be able to purchase your oils at 24%. God bless.